round 25 was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. When I put the round 25 beat in rotation, like when I locked it in, I thought more people would complain than they did. <clears throat> so that was actually very surprising and very encouraging. 10 out of the 20 artists showed up and actually wrote some good songs. Like, I was blown away. I was expecting so many whack songs because I really just didn't believe that y'all were going to be able to adjust to a beat like this. It's not one of those beats... It's not one of those beats that you hear and just be like, Wow, this is the most amazing piece of work I've ever heard in my life. There's a lot of creative submissions this round. Some people have a harder time adjusting to the beat, and then other people, I feel like, um, they kind of mesh more effortlessly with the beat. Really, the name of the game is to do you no matter what the music is. You have to write for the music without compromising who you are as an artist. And I think everybody pretty much did that this round. We had a lot of different types of songs, different types of uh, vocalists, different types of songwriting. Starting with um, Year 85, which is the artist that won, won this round. That boy Year 85, that boy good. I think he had probably the most well-polished flow. That boy good. That boy good. You can definitely tell this dude is a veteran. That boy is good. I thought he brought a unique concept. He didn't have a chorus, but he... He utilized the chorus section to, to do like some, some dialogue. That boy is good. If you can't write a chorus, or if you don't want to write a chorus, a good move would be to either just let the beat play, um, <clears throat> or do something like he did, which is talk to the people. The only thing it does when you don't have a chorus is that you don't really have something that people can want to sing along to you know the hook is supposed to be the thing that catches people it's supposed to be the catchiest part of the song and you look forward to it because it's something that gets stuck in your head <clears throat> but I mean you don't have to write a catchy song to write a dope damn man I keep fucking burping man shit you don't have to write a catchy song to write a dope song I think year 85 prove that to be true in the past people have said man only only the people that use auto-tune you gotta be auto-tuned in the winners to win a round that was during the time when jake johns and uh static v was winning rounds they was making songs with auto-tune and, and catchy choruses so people was thinking man you gotta put that on your voice to win basically you have to appeal to seven different people with seven different opinions and year 85 did that that boy good i thought za came up with another great song no surprise he could have won this round it's just the way he flips his 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 lyrics you could tell he's not trying to be anything he's not whether he's singing rapping or just speaking to us like he just he has a very versatile flow that boy good i think it was really dope to see a uh, one life one life mike to see him place third that was really really surprising because i thought people were sleeping on him i thought the judges might have not uh, understood his song or really connected with it, but I definitely thought he had one of the best songs. Do you know what I know? Or something like that. What I know? I can't do it. That boy good. Freddie Lowe, man, I'm proud of Freddie Lowe. Now to see him actually be in the race to win a round. This is the first time he's actually been in a conversation of actually being the standard, so that's a big deal. I thought he had one of the most unique, if not the most unique, songs as far as structure. The way he structured it, the way he delivered the words. It was just very, very, very fitting for the music this round. And he arguably had the best cohesive song where the voice actually matches the music. That boy good. Shout out to B-Star. We can't all be wait i ain't gonna do it he gave us a mortal Kombat submission it was it was fun shout out to travi i think that's how he pronounces it he should have been higher than sixth and he got slept on really really bad i know some people said they wasn't feeling the auto tune i don't know why y'all be hating on auto tune so damn much it sounds dope to me man like people want your voice to sound natural and somehow if you use auto tune it means you can't sing it's not true auto tune just it cleans up your vocals and if you're really going for that robotic sound on a beat like this it had like the uh the futuristic um synthy type instruments 
So I thought the auto-tune complemented it well. From a songwriting standpoint, this was one of the most well-written songs of the round, if not the best. That boy good. Shout out to my American twin, Chantel Juridini. She held it down for Canada. This was her first time trying to record by herself, and she actually pushed through it. She said that this round helped her grow as a person, not just as an artist. If she wants to achieve something, if she wants to go after something, you have to make yourself do things. You have to push yourself. You have to challenge yourself. You can't stop until the task is complete or whatever the goal is. You have to keep going. You have to keep trying. Feeling like, you know, it was just hard. You wasn't going to be able to attack the beat. You wasn't really feeling too hot about your song, but, you know, you did what you had to do. You got Lyndon to mix and master your track. So, I mean, you, you put the pieces in place, you know, and that's what life is about. You're faced with a challenge and you figure out how to get through the challenge. That's life. And you figured out a way to get your, your submission on the page. And not only just get your song on the page, but you actually wrote something dope. That boy good. The Dropper had a hilarious submission. Arguably the most entertaining. If you like that type of comedy that he did. And I enjoyed it. The reason why his submission didn't place high is because... It's a songwriting competition, and his song wasn't really a song. It was more of a, it was a skit. There wasn't really a flow to it. The fact that he thought the beat was a joke, it was whack. He, I think he purposely wrote a whack song and just wanted to have fun, you know? Beautiful, I thought your submission, I wasn't feeling your submission this round. I thought it was creative, and I appreciated how you, really tried to step out the box but I think the beat was so weird that you tried to go so weird that it kind of it took you out of your true element as an artist I was excited when you initially posted it because I think it was a dope way to open up the round to have somebody come out with such a, a creative submission with a lot of levels a lot of elements be easy I wasn't feeling your track just wasn't much to really like about it. I thought you picked out a pretty cool cadence that could have been good had your vocal delivery been better. I could just hear in your voice you weren't excited to record on this beat, so props for showing up anyway. Um, yeah, I just want to thank everybody who showed up in round 25 and actually faced the challenge. I think you all did a good job uh, with what you were given. Taiwan Makaido. You have a very different creative perspective, Taiwan. That boy good. I really think the main thing you can learn from round 25 is in life, at some point, you're going to have to do things you don't want to do. In those moments, you don't just quit. If you're signed up to do something or if you hold a certain position, some of the positions we hold in life, we don't pick. If you're someone's son, if you're someone's father, if you're a mother, if you're a brother, sister, if you're a boss at a job, if you're a manager, all these different titles require you to, to fulfill certain duties and when you sign up for the standard as an artist your duty is to show up not only show up but show up with your best and try to win this thing you're not here to like the beat you're here to win a competition no matter what the music is you're here to prove to people how versatile you are you're here to prove to people your songwriting and your recording abilities that's what you're here for and you have to do that on any type of music that you may get even if you don't win it's gonna pay off when you get involved and you, you submit, you become part of the history of this competition. You become part, you become invested in the idea. And you start to care more about what's going on. And then you become more interactive. And then when you become more interactive, you build relationships. And then when you build relationships, it's not just about the standard anymore because you you can talk to these people away from the standard. And they get to know who you are and what you got going on in your life. And you might build relationships outside of this competition that can help you further your career or whatever else you're trying to get ahead in in life whatever you're trying to pursue thank you for making round 25 better than i could ever imagine i thought y'all was gonna suck y'all didn't drop the ball you faced the challenge i'm ready for round 26 i can't wait for y'all to hear this uh this music i think after round 25 y'all going y'all are gonna appreciate <laughs> any beat after this one <laughs> i hate to say that because it's not like it was a I don't think it was a bad beat. I wouldn't have featured it if I thought it was a bad beat. I thought it was it was different and it wasn't like the greatest beat ever. It's not always about finding the best. It's about equal opportunity. Give everybody a chance to be featured and to receive some real criticism. We achieve that every round, no matter what the music sounds like. My name is Genius. I am a genius. Join the standard. Everybody. You're all welcome. Oh, that boy good.
that boy good. Oh, that boy good. Look at that boy go. <laughs> Look at that boy go. <laughs> that boy good. I'm trying to tell you. You say whatever you want about that boy. You can't tell. You can't tell me that boy ain't good. <laughs> that boy good. That boy do his thing. <laughs> boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. That boy good. Mm, mm, mm. That boy be flowing. Mm. That boy is good. Put it all out there for you. Bear it all just to show you how.